What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Today's video is all about New Amp Day. Yes, New Amp Day. Um, this past weekend, I went to the Three Amigos Guitar Show here in Southern California in Costa Mesa. Um, my second time going. We went in the summer. That was a fun one. But this one, the winter one, that usually happens the weekend after the NAMM show is the real heavy hitter one. And it did not disappoint. Backstory. My 335, as you guys know, I never play a lot, right? I think in the past year, it's been only in one video, maybe. So the guitar show came and I thought to myself, maybe I could take the 335 and see what can happen, right? Because when I went in summer, a Danacaster appeared and the guy was willing to do a trade. But I didn't think ahead, so I didn't have the 335 with me, right? So this past weekend, I went loaded. Got my 335 and my game face on. Guitar Safari, right, in Costa Mesa. We walk in, my buddy Jared and I, and the first booth had three incredible amps. The Pro Reverb, Twin Reverb, and Deluxe Reverb. Immediately, my eyes went on the Pro Reverb, one of my favorite vintage Fender amps that my teacher at Berkeley, Tomo, I'm sure you guys know, Tomo Just Funky, he turned me on to Fender Pro Reverbs. He has a lot of them. So we did a couple laps. I got the price. We talked about a trade, right? I said, let me do a couple laps, see what else is around. And then I'll come back. I'll get the guitar and we'll talk. Took a couple laps. As you can see from the photos, a couple of vintage strats. Pretty cool. A nice 65 player grade strat. I think they wanted 17.5 for it. A Klon Centaur. The Dumble Book, which they wanted six fifty for, insane, and then I guess the Creme de la Creme, all these tube screamers in one booth. So there was everything. So we go back to the booth, grab the three three five, and we begin. And as you can see, here is the nineteen sixty six Fender Pro Reverb amp with two JBL D120 speakers. So a very Garcia type setup, just incredible. The last Pro Reverb I was playing had 1265s and it was a little softer, but spending the couple days with this one with the JBLs, it's really 3D, really in your face and I love it. The clean tone is just, incredible chef's kiss clean tone just wow uh with the humbucker silver sky uh super eagle telecaster it works wonderfully so as obviously as it is <laughs> a trade was done fair trade my 335 is gone hopefully to a way better home than i gave it a home that it'll get used and played and inspire someone to play their best that they can. And I have one of my dream Fender vintage amps, which is the Pro Reverb. So with all that story time being said, let's change the camera angle, get the Les Paul, and hear some tones. Well, all right, we're a plugged in Les Paul into pedal board into the 66 Pro Reverb with two JBL D. 120 speakers just amazing just a dream and i am very lucky and grateful to be the current owner of this amazing amp that is going into the aux and on the aux amazingly enough they have a profile of this exact same setup a fender pro reverb type cab with two jbl d120 speakers I'm not using any post EQ, no post reverb. This is all straight from the amp, pure tone. And with all that being said, here's my clean tone. Let's go to the neck pickup first and check out how that sounds. <laughs>
It's amazing. There's no effects on, right? But the amp wants to keep going. It's almost like a compressor is on and it just wants to keep going and not end sustaining. It's really incredible. Here is the middle position. We'll do, I mean, you know I have to do help on the way. <laughs> this chords right here it's still going Just wow. And even in the room when the aux is not connected, it has the exact same feel and sound. It just sounds huge, really in your face. And as you can even hear, I'm not using a ton of reverb, right? I think it has to do with the JBLs that reverb isn't needed really because it's just is just so big and 3D sounding that the bit of reverb just adds a little more space to the sound. But yeah, it just sounds amazing. Here is the bridge pickup. <laughs> Nice airiness in the low end and nice and bright in the top end. Just wonderful. I'm going to pause now and I'll adjust the tube screamer to a nice setting and we'll go from there. Cool. Time for some overdrive. Light overdrive. <laughs> um, the TS-10 has the gain almost all the way off. Tone, 12 o'clock. And level at 1 o'clock. A bit of nice OD. So here is a tone with no pedal. 
Right? Engage. Pedal. up. OD really thrives, I think, with this type of amp that is working, but it's not breaking up yet, right? It almost goes where the next level gain stage-wise, right? And Light OD is perfect for that, in my opinion. Here is the middle pickup. <laughs> Just an incredibly versatile amp, incredible clean tones, right? Almost quintessential Fender type cleans. And when you add some light overdrive, it really goes to level two, right? In a sound type way. Um, this amp will be used so much on the channel that I'm so excited to dive into it, adjust some EQs, maybe turn the amp so it's working a little bit harder, maybe with the Super Eagle, with the Fender, with the Silver Sky, the Telecaster, right? We're going to have a lot of fun with this amp. So if you enjoyed today's video, please press like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.